Yo, what up? It's your man, Sir Plus, back with a new video. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you stay in the loop for when I drop new videos. Hey, yo. This dude, Drake, just dropped a new diss record. Well, he didn't drop it. Academics dropped it on his Instagram page. And the internet is going crazy. So if you sleep right now, you missing it. When if, if, you, if you don't see this and you see it when you wake up, you missed it. But by the time you see this, it's going to be everywhere anyway. So I'm pretty sure you can get caught up pretty quickly. So, yo, this guy, Drake, just dropped a new diss record featuring the AI version of Tupac and the AI version of of Snoop Dogg. This joint is so creative and and I guess you could say so right now in the present with the um implementing AI into an actual song. People thought his last song was AI when that one first dropped the, the drop and um give me 50 push-up joint. Um we wasn't even really sure if that was a real Drake record at the time and who knows it may it might not be Oh, I just thought of something because on this record, you could tell it's Drake rapping, but they use the AI to make his voice sound like Tupac and Snoop Dogg. So what if that was somebody rapping on the drop and give me 50 joint, but using Drake voice to make it sound like him? Anyway, that's a video for another time. We're going to get into this. No further ado, this is Drake's new diss record to Kendrick Lamar. Let's go. Compliments of DJ Academics. Why aren't you playing? Okay, let's back out and go back in. Pause. Pause. Crazy. Illuminati. Does rise again. You can see it in my eyes again. Right off the bat, give me that Dr. Dre feel, that 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 West Coast Dr. Dre late um late uh a uh, death row record sound right here. No matter of fact, this ain't even death row. This is aftermath Dre right here. Kendrick, we need ya, the West Coast savior. Ain't great in your name and some hip hop history. If you deal with this viciously, you seem alone. Kind of sound like Pac. It kind of sound like Pac and Dr. Dre, like a mixture of Pac and Dre. I see what he did. I, I see what he was trying to do. I see what he was trying to do. Nervous about all the publicity. For this Canadian light skin dot. We need to know the baby West Coast victory, man. Call him a bitch for me. Talk about him liking young girls. That's a gift for me. Heard it on the button podcast, it's gotta be true. They told me the spirit of my belly is alive, and the nigga under five foot five, so it's gotta be you. I would beat the whole fucking game. It was me and <laughs> he's still picking on his height. It's crazy. Sweet dog, have my fucking shirt off. Hey man, not too too many jokes on the short dude. Shout out to my five footers out there. I'm five foot something too. Forget you, Drake. In the house of blues, can you gotta fuck this nigga girl? He gotta get abused. All that shit about burning tattoos, he is not amused. That's jail talk for real thugs. You gotta be you. Gotta leave this motherfucker broken and bruised before we really lose. You ask for the smoke, now I seen you too busy for the smoke. I won't lie, the people confused. Now you about to get this shit another week before. He's definitely trying to bait Kendrick to finally go ahead and drop whatever he's gonna drop. Pause. Because what he's doing right now, it sounds like Drake is trying to definitely be Rabbit 8 Mile Kendrick right now. Everything that Kendrick could possibly say about him as an insult or to gain leverage in his battle, Drake is going ahead and saying it about himself. So it's pretty much like he's taking all the bullets out of his gun. You know what I'm saying? Back to home, girl, for running numbers up. I would have refused. Funny's industry relationships, she not in your shoes. You supposed to be the boogie man, go do what you do. Unless this is a moment that you tell us it's not really you. In that case, there's nothing left to say. I just pass it to snow. Yes, yo. What the This is creative, yo. Fuck you really got to do. We passed you the torch at the house of blues, and now you gotta do some dirty work. You know how to move. 
Y'all remember that when Snoop and, and Game and them gave Kendrick pretty much like they passed the torch to him in LA at that that one show. He's pretty much using now he's using his legendary moments against him, portraying as a uh, uh, Pac and Snoop. Like, go ahead and get him. Like, trying to egg Kendrick on to, you know what I'm saying, to handle Drake. Right, right. I know we've never been to jail or with jumpsuits and shower shoes. Never shot nobody, never stabbed nobody, never did nothing violent, and no one is. Wow, he's now he's attacking his street credibility. We all know that Kendrick is in some sort of fashion um, either affiliated or has ties to certain street gangs in L.A., but um, I don't know. It's looking ugly right now. This guy Drake is on his heels, pause. The homies that empower you, but still, you gotta show this fucking aisle who's boss on the West. Now's the time to really make a power move. Cause right now, it's looking like you're writing out the game plan on how to lose. How to. Writing on the game plan on how to lose. Yeah, Drake is. The thing is, I don't think Kendrick expected for Drake to go this route. I thought he thought it would be more of like a war of words, kind of like how. Beanie versus Jada Kiss was, or how Nas versus um, Jay Z was. I don't think that he expected Drake to be this playful about it. I guess you could say, like Drake is kind of making a mockery and and teasing him and bullying him. Like nobody expected this from Drake. Everybody thought this was going to be a complete wash by Kendrick Lamar washing both J Cole and Drake, but. J. Cole, as we know, has forfeited and threw in the white flag. He's no longer a factor in this exchange. But I think what Drake is doing right now is definitely taking everybody by surprise. Like, I mean, he did do the back to back and uh, charged up joint with um, against Meek. But it's like it's Meek Mill. He, he may not really stand a chance against Drake, but he's the street dude. And then he still got washed, and now it seems like Drake is doing it again against an even more formidable opponent opposed to Meek Mill. So let's see what's up. Walk up the wrong tree and then get your head popped in a crowd of room. World is watching this chess game, but are you out of moves? That you know the DOG never fucking died at you. But right now, it seem like you posted up without a clue of what the fuck you about to do. Yeah, um, that's the truth. I'm definitely about to come around the lane gang and let my and this is three verses Kendrick three verses he did a intro a Tupac verse a Snoop verse and now he's about to rap as his as himself and you have yet to say anything outside of F the big three is just big me Fucking foul move, shitting on you niggas from a whole different altitude. High up in the sky like I'm Howard Hughes. The first one really only took me an hour or two. The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you. But now we gotta wait a fucking week, cause Taylor Swift is your new top. And if you about to drop, she gotta approve. It's girl. He dragging Taylor Swift into the, into the mix. In a way, this is kind of a layup because I feel like this is Drake giving a layup to Taylor Swift. She dropping this weekend and also putting Kendrick on notice that if you drop this weekend the same time that she drops, you're going to take all that attention and stuff from her and it's going to be focused on this battle. And chances are behind the scenes there may be a little a, 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 some feathers ruffled about this being that it could interrupt the number one chick in the game's numbers over some petty beef between two rappers so in a way he's he's warning kendrick she's dropping so be mindful he's putting her on notice that he might drop this weekend while you're dropping your project and what else what was the third point i was going to make i forgot just that fast oh and it's putting her you know i said it's putting her on notice 
He's putting Kendrick on notice. And he's kind of making it to where, like, if he does do that on the weekend, you're dropping your album, you should be mad at him. Y'all over there, that record label should do something to them people over there, that record label. Le- record label. Pause. Pardon me. Because I hit the mic, so pause. Pause. Hit the mic. What the? Okay, let's get back into it. Girl really about to make you act like you not in a feud. She tell a major schedule with Ant, you out of the loop. Hate all you corporate industry puppets, I'm not in the mood. I love it when you niggas talk loose like I'm not in the room. Since like that, your tone changed a little, you not as enthused. How are you not in See, since like that, your tone changed a little, you not as enthused. Yo, I just, oh no, I gotta go back, I gotta go back. Uh, I lost it, I lost it. But. The reason I messed up, I accidentally hit the what you call it. But, yo, I just got word just now in my text messages just now that Chris Brown has dropped a diss record against Quavo called Weakest Link. And it's him. (laughs) And it's Quavo eating a glizzy. This is the artwork. Look. Hold on. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to have to do another video on this one. I haven't even listened listen to this song yet, so I'm definitely going to make a video right after this one, and we're going to all listen to it at the same time. But since this is started off from the top, let's get back into this pause. Started back from the that's crazy. But anyway, let's go. Illuminati. Does rise again. You can see it in my eyes again. Great beat choice. Great beat choice, Pauls. Great beat choice. Kendrick, we need ya. The West Coast Savior. Ain't gravy your name in some hip hop history. If you deal with this viciously, you seem a little nervous about all the. The voice is pop, but this is definitely not a pop cadence. Listening to to how he's flowing on the track. Publicity, fuck this Canadian light skin dot. We need to know the baby West Coast victory, man. Call him a bitch for me. Talk about him liking young girls. That's a gift for me. Heard it on the button podcast, it's gotta be true. They told me the spirit of my belly is alive, and the nigga under five foot five, so it's gotta be you. I would beat the whole fucking gotta be five foot five, it's gotta be you. Man, shouts out to the five footers out there, man. Stop talking about us five footers. I'm five foot something, man. Shouts out to the five footers out there. Forget you, Drake. You ain't even all that tall anyway. Game. It was me and Snoop Dogg Had my fucking shirt off in the house of blues K, you gotta fuck this nigga, girl He gotta get abused All that shit about burning tattoos He is not amused That's jail talk for real thugs You gotta be you Gotta leave this motherfucker broken and bruised Before we really lose You ask for the smoke I forgot what I was gonna say Now I see you too busy for the smoke I won't lie, the people confused Now you about to get this shit another week And fall back to home, girl For running numbers up I would have refused. He's referring to the Taylor Swift. Money's in the street relationship. She not in your shoes. You supposed to be the boogie man. Go do what you do. Unless this is a moment that you tell us it's not really you. In that case, there's nothing left to say. I just pass it to snow. Kendrick, you got to respond, Kendrick. Kendrick, you got to respond. No more waiting, yo. If, if, well, oh, shit. It's already Friday. Well, it's Saturday. Happy 420, by the way. So, should Kendra wait till next week? Like midweek? Like Tuesday, Wednesday? Or Thursday before whoever drops next Friday? He still has to be strategic, even though Drake is Drake is baiting him to go ahead and drop whatever it is that he has that people have already rumored to have heard and said it's it's this crazy record and it's gonna just be the end of Drake. But you gotta drop Kendrick. Yes, you. What the fuck you really got to do? Now, passed you the torch at the house of blues, and now you got to do some dirty work. You know how to move. 
right? He really does sound like Snoop. Nephew. A wooty woo. Right. I know you've never been to jail or with jumpsuits and shower shoes. Never shot nobody, never stabbed nobody, never did nothing. This is probably the best Snoop has ever rapped, by the way. It's inviolate and no one is the home. Respectfully. Please that empower you, but still, you gotta show this fucking aisle. Who's boss on the West? Now's the time to really make a power move. Cause right now, it's looking like you're writing out the game plan on how to lose. How to bark up the wrong tree and then get your head popped in a crowded room. World is dope. Fire bars. Watching this chess game, but are you out of moves? That you know the DOG never fucking got a jewel. But right now, I seem like you posted up without a clue of what the fuck you about to do. Yeah, um, that's the truth. I'm definitely about to come around the lane. Ah, right, y'all pay attention. Gang, and let my fucking bowel move. Shitting on you niggas from a whole different altitude. High up in the sky like I'm Howard Hughes. The first one really only took me an hour or two. The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you. When he says bring out the coward in you, what exactly is he talking about? Is he, is it the nail in the coffin record? Because if these records, excuse me, the, the, the drop and give me 50 joint, 50 push-ups, whatever it's called, this one right here, if both of these, both of them is rocking, they cool, you know, he gave you the kind of dancey, dancey joint with the 50 push up joint. And this one is more of the, uh, the, the, the head, not a Dr. Dre classic aftermath ish type joint. So, what does he have left in the clip for Kendrick? Hmm. I wonder. But now we gotta wait a fucking week Cause Taylor Swift is your new top And if you about to drop, she gotta approve This girl really about to make you act like you not in a feud She tell a major schedule away. This girl is really gonna make you act like you not in a feud <laughs> And you out of the loop Hate all you corporate industry puppets I'm not in the mood I love it when you niggas talk loose like I'm not in the room Since like that, your tone changed a little You not as Meaning he is always somebody in the room that's reporting back to Drake is literally what he's telling y'all. There's always someone in the room reporting back to OVO academics. And those, how are you not in the booth? It feel like you kind of removed. You trying to let this shit die down. Nah, nah, nah. Not this time, nigga. You following through. I guess you I ain't telling Kendra, no, 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 you, no, you are not, you know, you will not J. Cole this here back and forth, buddy. No, sir, Bob. You need another week to figure out how to improve. What the fuck is taking so long? We waiting on you. The rest of y'all are definitely involved. Y'all getting it too. As soon as you get the courage to drink. The rest of who? Who else is involved? Is he talking about Punch? Hmm. Who else is he talking about? Who else is spoken out? Schoolboy Q. Hmm. I wonder. Rob, I'm out on the loose. On the loose. Yeah. Shout out to Taylor Swift. Biggest gangster in the music game right now. You know, I moved my album when she dropped. I said that already. You know, she about to milli rock do a milli rock on your head top. Bro. She got the whole PG Lang on mute like that Beyonce challenge. Y'all boys quiet. PG Lang. That's uh, who Kendrick is now signed to. For the weekend, like, I know you in that NY apartment. You struggling right now. I know it. I know you in that NY apartment right now. Struggling. He's taking shots at even where he live at. Cause you know Kendrick is the more modest, frugal type artist, kind of like sort of like how J. Cole is, but J. Cole actually like dresses like he's like frugal and modest, I guess. I don't know. J. Cole is like two ripped shirts away from Kanye status as far as <laughs> looking homely if you will uh, but yeah you know Kendrick he he didn't go buy the mansion I think it was a story at one point where he just went and bought like a two story house or something like that and not no big stupid crazy mansion like how Drake has like the uh, whatever whatever they call his big super stupid mansion out there in LA 
or Cali, I should say. Um, so yeah, he's kind of like using different pressure points for Kendrick. Like he's kind of like covering all bases, not only on Kendrick, but also on himself, where he's kind of like disarming Kendrick by saying all of these crazy things about himself, talking about himself from Tupac's standpoint and Snoop's standpoint where they're kind of like uh well not kind of there in in um support of Kendrick to get him to respond to Drake so it's 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 a lot of mind fuckery going on in the in these records if you pay in attention definitely in the notepad doing lyrical gymnastics, my boy. You better have a motherfucking quintuple entendre on that shit. Some shit I don't even understand. Like, this shit better be crazy. We waiting on you. Yo. Boom, boom, boom. Yo, they smoked that beat. Whoever made that beat smoked that beat. It sounded like it came directly from Dre. And that's a whole fact. That joint is fire. This is very um, intriguing. To say the least, very creative, very thought forward, think forward. I guess if that's an uh, uh, in uh, the correct ex expression, think forward. This record is. I don't know how Kendrick can recover, or if what he got is still better than these two records that Drake has dropped on him in these last two weeks. I don't know. It, it, is Kendrick still on the clock in y'all eyes? Do he still got time to respond? Is the uh, the whole Taylor Swift thing um, that um, Drake alluded to in this record, does it still prolong it? Or should Kendrick drop while, when she drops anyway, since Drake has already put it out there in the public that, hey, this guy is going to drop on the same weekend as the biggest chick in the game. And she's going to tell you, no, don't do that. And yada, yada, yada. I don't know, man. This These industry games is wicked and they're weird. So I don't know what is going to transpire. But you guys let me know in the comments what you think of this new record, Diss and Kendrick. It's a fire. Uh, drop some fire emojis in the comments if you like it. If you if you if you digging it, I'm gonna make a whole nother video on the Chris Brown and Quavo um issue. I mean situation with this new record that just dropped a Chris Brown dissing um Quavo. What's it called again? Weakest link. Weakest link. So I'm gonna do a video right after this on that. So y'all make sure y'all check that out. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell. Um, so you can stay notified for when I drop new videos. And I'm gonna catch y'all on the flip side. Good vibes, you heard bong.